Hello. Welcome to Thursday, April 23rd. Uh, almost in the week. The sun is shining. I've closed my blinds because I'd be like blinded if I had them open. Uh, so yeah, it's a good morning. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining me again. Thanks for sticking with me. I am so grateful for all of you. Um, so today, a couple things. Uh, I don't know if you remember, was it this week or was it last week? No, it had been this week because, yeah, Monday. Uh, I did Brenna's challenge and remember she had the rectangle and she had the diagonal lines and she said triangles and circles and teardrops. She sent me what it was supposed to look like. So hold on. It was supposed to look like, uh, blah, 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 blah. If I click that, click that, click. Did it click? Share. Is it sharing? Yeah, okay. So it was supposed to look like this a crown. I was so close. Now, my picture, I would show you what mine looked like. But remember when I did the water thing and I had the warm water on top of the cold water and I pulled the paper out? The paper was underneath. So it's a little wrecked. But I was so close. Okay. So thank you, Brenna. Um, oh, and rocks. Let me just go like this. And I know you guys already see me, but I don't see it. Okay. So the rocks yesterday, I hid my rock, I went on a walk and I hid my rock and I took a picture of it so I could show you, see if you can kind of guess where my rock is. Now the picture wasn't that great. So bear with me. Here I go again. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay. Uh, Sherry, you're presenting your screen. Blah, blah, blah. Go down one. So. There's my rock. I know it's really hard to see. Oh, if I could go like this, I could present it. Oh, maybe. Yeah, there it is. Um, <laughs> apparently, I don't think very good pictures. Uh, but there's my rock. So I don't know if you can figure out where I put my rock. And yeah, so I loved making that so much. Let me get back here. Stop presenting. I love making that so much that I made another one today. And I'm going to hide another one. So I'm challenging you to make a rock and then hide it and then show me a picture of where you hit it and see if we can kind of like, hmm, I wonder if that's over here. I wonder if that's over here. So that's my challenge to you. So I made a new rock. It's so new that it's still wet. Oh, I gotta get it without getting my fingers. Wet. There we go. And it says breathe. Um, ooh, ooh. Uh, so yeah, it says breathe. And on the back, if I can do it without getting the dots wet, I put keep or share. Um, and I forgot to mention yesterday that on my rocks, I took, I sprayed it with Verithane just because the, they sh the, the rain shouldn't um, affect it. But if it was like soaking, like if it was underwater, like the, the paint might come off. Okay. So the, I just uh, I took some Verithane and just sprayed it up on both sides before I hit it. Uh, so just wanted to let you know that. Um, so I'm going to hide another one today on my walk around Claremont. And maybe I'll take a picture of that one and maybe... You guys can think where you where it is or send me pictures of where you put your rocks okay that'd be cool uh today kind of in the water theme uh i wanted to show you guys how to make a boat that you can put in the water now here's the thing psa public service announcement uh you cannot go play in the water without parental supervision right? Because water can be dangerous. Water is moving fast right now. Uh, so please don't be playing in the water. But if there's a little, like a little thing in like a little stream right in front of your street, that's not flowing too fast. Maybe you can make a little boat and put it in the water. So let me show you how to make that. So let's tilt the camera. There we go. All right. So I've got my piece of paper like a fridge. So can you fold your paper? Oh, I don't know if I can see, you can see my face. I'm trying to put my face in there, but get a piece of paper and then like pause the recording or like come back. Okay, cool. So a uh, piece of paper, put it like a fridge, fold it in half like a hamburger bun. Okay. Uh, and then having that folded, I'm turning that folded so that folded part is uh, at the top. Like I'm back, I'm back here and this is at the top of the table. And then I'm going to take, this is where it's a little bit tricky. I can kind of even figure out where middle is. So middle is about there. I'm just putting like a little thing in the corner so I know. And I'm going to come down with both sides. These are the folded edges, right? This is where I folded it. So these both edges come down like this. Ugh! Yeesh! 
go, it's not perfect and that's okay. Okay, so I do that. So again, folded edges. This is the open part. Now, I'm going to take this open part. Eh, get open. Open, please. There we go. And I'm going to take that flap. So this is pointing away from me. I'm going to take that flap and I'm going to fold over the edge like this. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. Now, if you were to stop here, let me put this back up. If you were to stop here, whoa, that's really high. Uh, you could open it up. So here's what I made. Get it open it up. And you've made a hat, which is kind of tiny. So you might want a little bit of paper. Oh, can you see it back there? Because all the white of the roof. There we go. There's my hat. Lovely hat. So it could be a hat. But I want to turn this into a boat. So let's push this back down. All right. So now, well, let's go a little bit more. There we go. Um, I don't like it how it kind of like um, makes this little peak thing. So I'm just going to put one flat, like I'm just going to like fold it under just so it kind of lays a little bit better. So I'm just going to do that on both sides. Okay. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to like kind of fold it open, right? Like as I would have it like a hat, but then I'm going to fold it back. Oh, let's go here so you can see. I'm going to fold it. So there's my hat. So I would wear it like that, right? On my head, but I'm going to put it this way. So I'm going to fold it down and remake some fold lines on the edges like so okay so if you can see it was a hat and then I folded it this way and I put new fold lines here and here okay and then I'm going to take now this is open up towards me so I'm going to take that I'm going to fold it up to the top and again pause this video anywhere you're like Pierre you're not making them the sense pause the video okay and just rewatch it so I just took that so it's like here, right? There was my, my hat, folded it this way, put a corner up, and then I'm gonna do the same on the other side. So turn it over, do the same on the other side. Right? And you know how like we like when it was like a hat and then we folded it over? So we're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna open it up like this, right? Because that'd be like a little mini hat. If I could kind of get that on the head. Oh, I could get that on the head of my bunny. There's my bunny on it. So I could kind of have it on the head of my bunny, but don't worry about the bunny. We're going to take that word like that's like a hat and we're going to fold it this way. So it was like a hat, right? So it's just like one of those tiny hats and I'm going to fold it this way. I'm just going to kind of pinch it with my fingers. Now in the video that I watched, they just pull it. They just take these two parts and they pull it and it becomes this beautiful little boat. But I struggle with it. So I kind of have to get like my fingers underneath it. I'm just kind of like pushing it. <laughs> and it kind of makes like this boat with a triangle sail in the middle, right? And then I kind of like open that up in the bottom a little bit. Just kind of, just kind of arrange it a little bit. And that will sit on the water very nicely, right? It's got your made your own little boat. Cool. But again, and I stress, don't go near the water without parent supervision or permission or all those things. Don't say, Mrs. Pyre said I could. No, Mrs. Pyre said you must get permission. So that's, oh, should have done that. That's what I have for you today. Uh, so rocks, is it dry? It's almost dry. Make your rock. Uh, Take a picture of it if you can. Send me the picture so I can kind of guess where I can think where it might be. Um, yeah, let's get the movement going. Let's have some, oh, I thought of a name yesterday. I thought like happy rocks, happiness rocks. What can we call these? I, I got nothing. Give me some ideas of what we could call these. Like I was thinking positive pebbles. <laughs> I got nothing. So give me a title of what we could call these. Let's plant them around our Claremont community. Let's make some people's days. Uh, yeah. So thank you for watching again. Stretch out those hands. So it's something like this. You're wiggling your fingers as you're stretching it this way. Stretch them, stretch them, stretch them. Oh, lean your head back. Take a breath. Wrap those arms around yourself. Take a breath. Mrs. Pyre has to do this more often. I talk so fast. 
sometimes I just need to take a breath. So it's not only for you, it's for me, and it's for your moms and dads and aunts and uncles, grandmas, grandmas. Tell them to take a breath. Right? Take four or just take one. All right, let's do this again. Stretch those fingertips. Oh, stretch them, stretch them, stretch. Then head back. Wrap the opposite arm around. Big breath in. Pause your mouth. I am so, 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 so grateful for you guys for still watching. I was like blown away. There was like 10 views this morning. I was like, oh, Pyre's in the house. People are watching our videos. Yay. So spread the word. Make the rocks. Stone. Super stones? I don't know. Give me a title what we could call these. Okay. Uh, thanks for checking in. Keep checking in, uh, tomorrow. Uh, yeah. Let me see some pictures. I'd love to see it. Um, and anything else, anything else you want? Maybe have some ideas of what we could do. I have tons, but like my ideas might not always be your ideas. Okay. So thanks so much. Miss you guys. Big hugs. Um, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Bye.